A massive federal announcement could come with big implications for Wisconsin. The U.S. will welcome up to 100,000 refugees from Ukraine. That news broke today as the Afghan refugee crisis is hardly over, with more than 74,000 of them so far getting temporary or permanent refuge here. Wisconsin welcomed hundreds of permanent Afghan refugees in the last few months, and we get the chance to do that again for Ukraine. However, there are more questions than answers at this point. Naomi Coles explains what we know. Something to keep in mind is that refugees tend to resettle near family or at least in communities from their home country. Wisconsin's Ukrainian refugee population is relatively small with exactly 100 resettling here between 2001 and 2019. Most are in Green Bay or Milwaukee, but Madison has welcomed a few and we're ready for more. I really do want to stress that we are here for refugees no matter where they are from. The executive director of Madison's only resettlement agency for refugees, Jewish Social Services, is watching national news with some concern. I'm really wondering who has capacity. I'm really nervous about that because we have res already resettled more this year than we typically do in an entire year. Today, the federal government announced that thousands of Ukrainian refugees will be welcomed in the U.S. Many Ukrainian refugees will, uh, will wish to stay in Europe, closer to their homes. But we've also will welcome 100,000 Ukrainians to the United States with a focus on reuniting families. Here in Madison, JSS is just catching their breath from resettling nearly 75 Afghan refugees. That alone is more than any other year in the past, but doesn't include refugees. They're still resettling from other countries. It's a huge increase and we've hired more staff, um, but it's been overwhelming because we get very little notice, particularly with the Afghan and refugees. Getting refugees a home, money, and a support community here is no easy task. Anyone who knows the housing market in Madison, trying to find um, a safe place on a bus line that is affordable with less than a week's notice is just asking for trouble. They're ready to do it all again for Ukrainian refugees. But pretty much every question still doesn't have an answer as they wait on the feds and then the state to decide if, how many, and when. Now, really, the biggest question at this moment is whether incoming refugees from Ukraine will fill existing slots that resettlement agencies like JSS are planning for, or if this means expanding their overall capacity yet again.